All right, guys, thanks for watching. Jake Teasel here with the latest Mustang Automotive News. Today, we're in a 2000 Lincoln Town Car. So, what can I tell you about it? Well, I've been able to drive it for about two hours, and I like it, but cool car. Um, the 4.6 liter V8 actually has a lot of torque, um, but let's let's take a ride, and um, let's talk about it. All right, guys, this is a 2000 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. I'm going to do a quick walk around. You do have locking and lock. These keys here, let me show you this. Your Lincoln key. You also do have a keypad on the handle. Heated mirrors. You get signature series, a little badging. I'm not sure if the white walls are factory. They do have this kind of concave wheel that looks really cool. Um, you can see on the front, looks pretty cool. Sunroof. It's the interior. It's pretty luxurious. This one only has 93,000 miles. It looks pretty well taken care of. We can check out the trunk, which I have a lot of stuff in the back. This trunk is huge. It's hard to really get an idea of how big it is, but this is a, a carry-on. And it just drops right in. With plenty of room to go. First aid kit. Here's a gallon of water. It looks like a little coffee mug down there. Yeah, that's a gallon of water. That's one gallon of water. See how small it looks. One cool feature, you can actually press in this headlight button to get interior lights. Press the button, get interior lights. Pretty cool. This is something I didn't notice. Nice deep pocket here. All right, guys, we are cruising along in the Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. This is a 2,000-year model. Now, we're in Waverly, Tennessee, just right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. I came back to visit the family, and I was loaned out a 2,000 Lincoln Town Car. And I've never driven one of these, and me being born in the, the 80s, these cars were around right when I was in high school, and, you know, it's nothing I ever got excited about, but... When you grew up around these cars, you know, I was in the Ford family and the Mustangs, so these are kind of the luxury vehicle, and I was never excited about any of these cars, but now, in my age, I was, it's something to, it's something cool to drive around and, you know, look forward to, and, um, it's, it's cool, it's cool. So, I'm thankful that I get to drive this great scenery, and what a great road to test drive this car on. So, um, where should we start? It's very cold outside. It's about 40 something degrees I believe um, 45 it says exterior now it's about 7 30 in the morning and I've got all this empty road to myself I've been reading up on this car it does have airbag suspension and I've noticed that because there's an air pump noise in the front of the car the front passenger side under the hood we might get to hear that in a little bit now this car is a 2000 and it's got 93,500 miles. So they've taken very good care of this vehicle. I just want to show you uh, and talk about the ride. Now the ride is very soft and it does feel like a town car. Believe it or not, this car actually has pretty good power for a 2000 vehicle, a 2000 year model vehicle. It's got the 4.6 liter. This vehicle weighs about 4,000 pounds and it has plenty of, of get up. We're at about 45 miles an hour. 
I can stomp on it. And we're at 65, 75. I mean, it it has plenty of power. It's plenty of power. Um, now, I know these back roads like the back of my hand. I've been coming back here since I was a young kid. So, um, I'm very familiar with these roads. Now, this car actually, it is actually, it's actually fun to drive. And it's cool, man. Um, it's very, it's been very well taken care of. Woo! It's been very well taken care of. And um, it's a blast to drive. Now, I'm not sure about the reliability of these vehicles. I have to look them up. Um, I did have a little bit of a surging noise when I came to the red light earlier and I was just doing some quick Google searching. It could be the idle air controller. It could have something to do with the air ride suspension, the airbags. I think they call them air springs. Someone said that. That makes no sense to me, but um, I haven't researched this car enough to really diagnose what that problem could be. But a little bit of a surgy idle, I noticed just one time for the first time I've, getting, I've been driving it for about two hours. Um, and I noticed that the vehicle is very low in the back when I left it overnight. So when I started up that air pump, I'm assuming pumps up the back of the vehicle. Okay, so, okay, so let's talk about the vehicle. So it's got a 4.6 liter, it's definitely rear wheel drive. It has a four speed automatic transmission. One of those is an overdrive. Um, you can turn the overdrive on and off right here with this little button. I don't think I killed that squirrel. I didn't hear it, so I think we're good. Um, let's turn down the heat. It does kind of have a digital climate control. Now, let's just start with the steering wheel. You've got your cruise over here on the left side. On the right side, you've got your radio controls. This is, I believe this is just AM, FM with a tape deck. I don't believe they've got a CD player in this, in this guy. Um, and you've got your automatic windows, door locks, You've got your, I believe it is, I don't know how many ways that seat is, but it's a bunch. And you have presets actually for your seat over here, presets. And you've got adjustable mirrors. You've got your headlights. You can dim the panel. Now something cool about this vehicle is that you can adjust the pedals from right here. And this is your traction control, which we've definitely got it off. Of course, how else would you have it? Horn is good. Right. Um, 2000 Lincoln Town Car, zero to 60. A little wheel spin. Oh, we're rolling. 60. Um, less power, obviously. But from that era, um, and it's 4,000 pounds. So. You know, it's not much heavier than a new Mustang is what I'm getting at. Yes, it has 200 less horsepower, but um, these 4.6s actually make this car feel pretty torquey and move right along. Now, um, the highway gas mileage is pretty impressive, 25 miles per gallon, that's impressive to me. And this car just runs and drives good. It's a cool car. I don't know about the durability. I don't know how many of these vehicles you can find that have 93,000 miles on them in the year 2018 that's pretty low I guess that's about uh, 5,000 miles per year so not many miles per year so this one's been babied and taken care of let me turn the headlights on I believe it does have auto lamp uh, auto headlamps I'm assuming that's what that that's what that is over there so would I buy one of these? I would, but I would want to make I would want to do a little research on what mechanical problems um, you could come up with um, in a vehicle that's 18 years old, a Ford that's 18 years old. I'm not sure in the year 2000s what some of the tro troubled areas were on these vehicles. If the transmission's good, electronic stuff, but there's no check engine lights on this thing, and it runs and drives great. So very impressed. Now this does have a sunroof, and I can show that to you. 
as soon as I make sure there's no cars coming. So a nice sunroof and let's see. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's dumb ones. Okay, so it doesn't tilt, I don't think. It does tilt, what do you know? All right, so let's close this so we can. Very cool. Um, I mean, what a nice vehicle. So one, one thing that's cool is you can adjust the pedals with this button. Put it in park and see if it works. Yeah. So you can adjust the pedal height. That's pretty cool. Um, your traction control, your panel dim is over here. I don't guess that works. Bright on all the time is fine with me. Um, and I haven't checked up the stereo. But I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, everything seems to work. The lock and unlock buttons. Adjustable seat. You got your nice Lincoln sign on the steering wheel. Pretty cool. Dual airbags. And this nice wrinkled leather. Um, let's look in the glove box. Kind of deep. Kind of a deep glove box. Lots of cassettes because and this classic kind of Ford Lincoln uh, coin holders. Those are cool. And this big bench seat that you can put three people in the front. The back seat's big as well. Nice wood grain all over the dash. Let's bring it around. Let's bring it around. And you've got your power mirrors, heated mirrors too, mad. I mean, you don't need a 10-speed automatic. What do you need a 10-speed automatic for? You got a four-speed auto here. What are you talking about? You got torque, you got four speeds. That's all you need. It's a little, some rough houses back here, but we're in the stinking Lincoln. Should you buy a stinking Lincoln? I would buy one. They're cool. It's got good pickup, feels torquey. This is before the all the electronic stuff, so you can feel the you can kind of feel the power through the pedal. I mean, it's fine. I like I like the way it drives. Um, does feel a little big? It feels a little heavy, as it should. Now the brakes are a little funny feeling. Um, I noticed when I was getting off the interstate that the brakes felt a little soft, um, but once you got into them. They felt better. It's just on uh, the immediate bite isn't really an immediate bite. It's very soft. It's kind of a luxury feel, and I think that's what they're going for. These squirrels aren't behaving. So, pedal's a little soft. The brakes work good, but it's just the pedal's soft on the initial bite, and that's fine. Uh, the steering wheel is obviously more catered to a luxury ride, so it's not a a high ratio of steering obviously um so it drives it drives like it should you know it's big it's pretty heavy but um it does it's not lacking in the speed department um we did the zero to 60 and it, i don't know what it probably did it in under 10 seconds though i think it feels like about like the land cruiser um the land cruiser had plenty of power so um it's felt, felt a hair faster than the land cruiser though a little bit faster um so yeah that's that's some of the driving characteristics of the vehicle long term i would just be concerned about the uh reliability of the automatic transmission but although my dad has a f-150 with 230,000 miles on it with the original engine and transmission never had a problem with it so could you go another hundred thousand with this probably so all right so let's get out of the car let's check out the engine there was a pump noise. I'm assuming it is the pump for the airbags in the rear. And let's just do like a little walk around, show you the vehicle. So your foot brake is down here. 
put this dude in park. Foot brake works. And let's pop the hood. Hood latch is down there. All right. Here's the headlights. Got a little moisture in this one, it looks like. Alrighty. There's that engine. And I was hearing a pump noise from over here somewhere. Somewhere over here. Let's check the trans fluid looks. Pretty good. Can't really see it. This thing won't focus. There you go. So not too bad for having such high miles. I don't think you can see it, but it doesn't look bad. You can see a lot of these bushings and stuff. Look, they're a little old. But generally speaking, this car looks pretty clean. You can see it's been taken care of. You can see, I don't know if you can see this as much. This is 